So we're going to do pH of buffer solutions now. We have a simple equation, so we don't usually use an ice box now, but interesting Hasselbach equation. pH equals pK plus log of base over acid, the conjugate base over the conjugate acid. Uh, this equation is valid only for buffers, and it fails when we cannot assume that the change variable is smaller than the initial concentrations. So there are some times if we dilute a buffer too much, it will fail also. Uh, the ratio of base over acid is officially in terms of moles, molarity, molarity of the conjugate base over the molarity of the conjugate acid. However, since the volume, these are in the same solution, so the volume is identical for both of these. So the mole ratio is identical to the molarity ratio. And this is, saves us a little bit of effort when we can assume that. And one feature on this henderson hasselbach is that when our HA and A minus are equal, this ratio is one and log of one is zero. So we end up with pH equals pKa. And this is the center point of a buffer system. The buffer system uh, usually works within one pH unit of that center point. And then beyond that, we're getting to the end of the buffer system and we can exceed the buffer and then the pH starts to change more drastically. So a couple of examples, simple ones. So if we have a 0.15 molarity of HF um, and 0.1 molarity of sodium chloride, the source of the conjugate base, what is our pH? So our Ka was given to us as 7.2 times 10 minus 4. Well, in this equation, pKa is the negative base 10 log of Ka. So if we do negative base 10 log of Ka, and we get 3.14. That's the best center point for this hydrochloric acid buffer system. Well, I have all the numbers, so we just put it into the equation, run it through our calculator, and we get 2.96. So we see that we have a more acid than base, so our pH is lower than the center point, more acidic than the center point. Let's do a couple more problems. So this one, we still have the same acid-base system, the hydrochloric acid and potassium chloride. We have a pH of 4.21. We want to know what the ratio is. And this is the type of problem that we do when we're trying to design a buffer for a particular pH. So we know what ratio of the compounds to add to get the right pH. So we turn our Ka, our pKa, 3.14. We put in our pH and our pKa. Now we're going to solve for the ratio. So we subtract the two numbers off. We end up with 1.01 equals the log of the base over acid. So the antilog is 10 to the power. So 10 to the 1.07 gives us 11.7. So that is the ratio of the chloride over the hydrochloric acid. Then one more. We're adding an acid to a buffer system. So we have our 0.15 molar molarity hydrochloric acid and 0.10 molarity potassium fluoride. And we're adding 0 0.06 moles of hydrochloric acid. We want to know what our final pH is. So as we're, we're not giving the volume here, but we're going to be changing these concentrations. But since we can do our equation in moles, we don't have to worry about what the final volume is going to be. But the, the neutralization reaction of the conjugate base with the strong acid is going to go to completion. It has a very large equilibrium constant. So we write the equation, our initial concentrations of everything. The strong acid is our limiting reactant. If it's not, we'll end up not with a buffer. So that goes down to zero. We subtract that off to the other reactant, potassium fluoride, and we add it on to the hydrochloric acid. So we get the moles of this. And now this was a simple problem since we had one liter solution. So one liter times 0.15 molarity gives us 0.15 moles. One liter times 0.10 molarity gives us 0.10 moles. So these are the moles already. I already converted them to moles, not molarity. So in this type of calculation, we want to use moles, not molarity. But now we have our new moles. We can just use that directly in our henderson hasselbach equation. So we put in our pKa, we put in the, the new moles here, we uh, crunch it down and we end up with 
3.14 minus 0.72 gives us 2.42. So again, we have a, we end up with more moles of the acid and our pH is lower than the midpoint.